my daddy yet robot. Hello everyone, this is Cybertronian Beast. Let's talk Transformers. Alright, today we're taking a look at the new uh, event that's going on in uh, Transformers Legends World. And it is Countdown to Extinction. It uh, it started today. Today is... What's today? It's 24th, I think it is. What is today? I don't even know what the day it is. Or it's the 25th. It is... May the 25th today. So today is the day that this thing started. I think it started around 8 o'clock or so. So we're going to take a look at this. First, let's get a close-up on the, uh, the screen here. Looks like we can get... I think that's Red Alert in the back. It's definitely Sideswipe. Uh, we've got Rumble or, or uh, Frenzy there. And definitely Starscream. Let's get into it. Okay, and here is the screen from the last video that I showed you, and I was corrected. I admitted I was wrong. Uh, when you join, you do not get Starscream. He is the uh, goal in which you are striving for. You want to be uh, in that top percentage of players striving to get the Starscream card, and uh, it's not easy to get. So I, I believe the last time that we that I played this game, the last event that literally ended like two days ago, um, these these guys are really putting out these events time after time. Um, there was when I started it, there was eighty one thousand five hundred people playing. So let's join up. As uh, as always, when you join, you're going to get some silver medals, silver warrior medals. That is, so you're going to get fifty of those. You're going to get 50 gold warrior medals. You're going to get 16 battle cube recharges. And you're going to get 6 small energon recharges. These are meaningless because near the end of the game, you're going to get so many of these, it's not even funny, the energon recharges. I think I have over 130 of them right now. So let's join. And we'll get into this. Currently it's showing... Uh, six days, 19 hours left. Find episode bosses. Let's go do that. Level 1 reflector, or level 0. 10 points, engage. Yes, we got to do that. Alrighty. And we're just going to use one basic battle cube, or one battle cube. very slow and I don't think my team should have too much trouble with a level zero reflector one hit he's done perfect and that scored me ten big points love those ten points need lots of those ten points Collect reward. So I've gotten a per silver warrior medal for participating. There it is. A first attack um, energon recharge. A gold, that's a gold um, weapons medal for MVP. And a finisher. That means that I finished off the... Uh, uh, reflector, so I got a battle cube for that. I'm gonna exit out of that. And it'll take us into the main area. What you want to make sure you're trying to do in this first part, that's what I kind of figured out the last time. Um, in this first couple days of the event, whether it takes you days or hours, depending on how hardcore you play, um, you really want to build up your battle cubes. You want to get to that point where you're you're not making any battle cubes anymore. Um, let's see. We'll scan for some bosses here um, because those battle cubes really come in handy at the end. I'll try and explain it a little bit better in a, in a minute here. So let's try and find a spot to 
So go hunting. I guess it doesn't really matter where, they're all going to be basically the same. I'm currently level 85, as you can see there. Um, 81,106 dollars, credits, whatever. Uh, I currently have uh, 10,450 ally points and uh, 1,455 um, battle points. Let's see here, just go into that one, sure. Um, I found during these events, with event after event after event after event, um, I haven't even needed to go and spend any of my ally points. These are, when you spend your ally points, you get, you know, you get character cards to spend on, you know, other guys. Um, but with event after event after event, I don't have to. I mean, I've got so many guys sitting there waiting to be, uh, to be brought over in the space bridge that I don't even need to. Oh, looks like I don't have an empty slot on that one. Let's go back. Now, what I alluded to earlier was uh, what really kind of, um, what you really want to do is these early battles, these first, these first characters that you fight, their points totals are quite low. Um, you, I mean, obviously, zero level reflector was worth 15 points. Um, what's going to be the norm for the first couple uh, battles is you're going to get to. Um, all right, well, it doesn't matter. Let's go into this, this one. Um, is you're going to find, you know, battles that are going to be 150, 200, um, 460, 540 kind of thing. These are these are normal amounts um, and you what you what you don't want to do is you don't want to spend your battle cubes um, especially more than one if you can finish the guy off uh, you don't want to spend more than one on that battle um, so what you do is you get to that you get yourself up to that level and then you kind of wait Oh, look at that, I got the rare. Lucky me. I have uh, enough wheel jacks, though. Wish there was a way to trade these. That'd be wicked. Um, so what you do is you... You kind of wait until near the end of the the game. So when the days are, you know, shortening up and there's like two days left or one and a half days left uh, in the event, when the majority of the people that are you know, still really fighting, playing hard, they are fighting guys that have, you know, 2,000, 3,000 point totals uh, for their guys. Um, and you can get in on those guys with one battle cube here, or you can spend a little bit more and finish those guys off. That's what your battle cubes should be for. Um, you really don't want to waste them all on these small little totals. Finally, a boss fight. Jesus. Let's go. So yeah, you don't want to you don't want to waste all those battle cubes really early on because they're worth a ton. So yes, I'm sitting here at 49 battle cubes. I'm gonna go and use one for a level one reflector, and it shouldn't take too much to fill to kill this guy off. Um, I think my my team, I mean team's not super strong I mean I've never really come in the top uh, the top thousand of uh, any of these these events which which that's where the um, the big the big powerful guys start to get given out and um, unfortunately that's you know I just never really got too far into the usually the guys that that do that have spent a lot of money on these cards so You'll see here, I'm getting all of these battle cubes. They're right down here. Hit the 40 level, and I hit the 20 level, I hit the 30 level, I hit the 40 level, all in this last battle. So I gained uh, three, six, nine battle cubes with one with one fight. Um, the thing they also added last last event, um, perhaps maybe it was the one before, was. Uh, 
uh, Transmetal. And, uh, and it's, it's pretty cool because you don't have to, you don't have to build up your, your characters using guys. Um, if you don't have enough guys, um, you can build them up with Transmetal and it's, it's sometimes cheaper when it comes to, uh, you know, credit wise. So it's a good thing to look at because if you, a lot of you aren't using your Transmetal and it doesn't change the way the character looks if you're thinking, Oh well, I can I can put Transmetal on my guy and he's going to be all custom. He's not. He doesn't change at all. You know, he still looks the same on the screen. The art doesn't change anything. Um, he doesn't attack in a different way. He doesn't get more powerful if you use Transmetal. He's just he's just powered up uh, with different with different stuff. All right, so another level one. Now we're gonna, I'll just let this one play out. All my characters are max level bonused. And they should take care of this level one reflector fairly easily. Yeah, there he goes. So I should get uh, 20 points plus any bonus points. Collect rewards. So I'm going to get 30 points for that. That takes me to the 50 level. So there goes all that stuff. Next reward level is 60. There's the 60 level. There goes all that stuff. Next reward level is 300. So I got to get a little, got to get a few more points before I hit the 300 level. And then I think after that it's the 500 level, and I think after that it's the 1,000 level, and 2,000, and so on and so on. It just gets harder and harder and harder and harder to fit to hit those reward levels. Um, to the point that I think it got, um, when I hit the 100,000 point level, that the next level was 200,000 points. Um, so it's quite difficult at that point. And you're not even, you're gaining the same stuff. Now, sometimes they do put characters in there. I think at the 1,000 point level, maybe the, the 2,000 point level, they put like a, a level 3, I think the last, um, the last event was a level three Cyclonus was in there. So you got his alt mode one time. The next level uh, reward, you got his alt mode um, or his robot mode. And then you got the ne next reward level, you got his gun. So, I mean, you can you can actually gain characters through just doing what you're doing. And that's kind of cool. I like how they've done that. Let's get out of here. I'll take you to the front page here, or the main page, home page, whatever. You can see I'm only 15,000th. Go back to that here. The, uh, the episode has just started, obviously. Um, but I'm, I'm ranked 15,417th. Uh, now that's, I mean, I've only got 75 points. Um, and that's, that's pretty good. Now give this event a, a little bit of time and you'll see, like I mean, you can watch it. You will just watch it for a second and it'll change as more and more people pass me on this because I'm only at the 75 point level. Watching? Come on. Don't make me a liar. There I go. I just fell. So it's interesting to watch yourself, you know, fall down the ranks as more and more people obviously join the game and proceed through levels. And I believe since the uh, Apple iOS people have been able to play, they um, the amount of people on this game and playing it have been have just shot up. So um, to the space bridge we will go. And we'll take a look and, and see what's there. Because I didn't use a lot of stuff from the last um, from the last event. I didn't have to. So what have they got offering this time? They've got a 10-pack guaranteed side swipe robot and alt mode. Uh, this is 300 MOBA coin credits. Um, 
plus 60 battle cubes. See, that's I think that's what people are buying. And, and I, I'm not willing to buy any of that crap. Um, I've got 55 silver metal uh, coins um, for, for guys. Gold uh, episode coins, I've got 170. And gold episode weapon medals, I've got 223. That's pretty good. That's just for this episode. Let's go to the uh, regular space bridge. I wonder if the uh, stuff from the last uh, episode are in there are in this one. So bronze warrior medals, I've got 11. Bronze weapon medals, I've got three. Yeah, here they are. Silver warrior medals, I've got 406. Um, gold warrior medal 704 and gold weapon medal 725 I got no place to put these things it's insane uh, you know um, I can only hold I can only hold 200 characters at a time and I can only hold 100 weapons at a time it's 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 absolutely insane the amount of the amount that you accumulate in this game is is just asinine uh, let's go to the store because we'll take a look and see how much this stuff costs. I don't know what the hell that is. Get out of that. That's just weird. All that weird colors. Go back. Alright, well, I guess the weird colors are part of the game now. Interesting. Um, yeah, so this is all stuff that you can buy with mobile coins. Um, let's go to my inventory. We'll take a look. Because this is where you'll find out how many of the uh, Transmetal packs you've got. And that's pretty good. Um, the... The, these are the uh, half energon refills. Um, so I've got a significant amount of those. I currently have 66 battle cubes. These these ones here, these are the uh, transmetal um, packs for, uh, I believe these are character ones. So I have 292 of those. And these are the transmetal packs for weapons so you can actually upgrade your weapons with with uh, transmetal as well and that's actually a lot easier too because um, usually if you've got a, a level 3 weapon which upgrades to a maximum of level 10 um, uh, then uh, then you only need 10 of these so you can do the math there's a significant number of weapons that I can max out with with just the uh, those transmetal packs Let's go back to the home screen here. Um, my team, currently, I don't think it's changed too much. I didn't, uh, I didn't really get a lot going last uh, last uh, game. So we'll take a look at the team here. so damn slow. So currently my leader is Dirge from the episode Dirge. Uh, I've got him being flanked by two acid storms. So they're pretty pretty strong. Uh, down in the bottom I've got episode Cliff Jumper and regular Grimlock. Regular Grimlock is very strong. So I highly recommend if you've got a Grimlock uh, alt mode and Robot mode, uh, transcan those, and pump the hell out of him. Especially, and get his weapon too. You'll want that. This is Firestar. I got a couple of her at the uh, as a reward in one of the episodes. Uh, regular Megatron and regular Optimus Prime. Uh, so definitely use those. There's a star underneath Megatron right now. I'm just gonna hit the recommend button. I like to do this every now and then just to see if there's a, a better way for my team to go. And there is. I guess Ironhide right now is a double point guy. 
So he's coming right into the fold. Awesome, good stuff. And cool. So I will confirm that. Oh, and the game is being updated. What perfect timing. Hello. Look at all the fingerprints from my touch screen. Countdown to extinction. There we go. So yeah. We'll go back to the home screen again. I don't know why I went into Countdown to Extinction. Um, but I do like to check usually and see if there's any uh, any requests for help kind of thing. I'll go back into the team. Make sure that the uh, recommendation took. And it did not, so we'll hit recommend again, and it goes up from seven. Oh, what was it? Cancel that. Seven thousand seventeen to seven thousand one hundred eighty. So that's pretty good, and we'll confirm that. Okay, perfect. We're gonna go into our Autobot squad. Okay, I'm on. Oh, I got it. Okay, good. And it's currently sitting at 2,827. I will recommend. And it goes up a bit, too. Great. Confirm. Perfect. Uh, Decepticon Squad. Give it a look. Uh, 2,666. How uh, appropriate for Decepticons. Recommend. Doesn't change. Confirm. Keep it. All right. So, that's my team. It works pretty well right now. I can't see it, you know, not doing what it needs to do. Um, I know that uh, a lot of the big players, their deck power is in like the 9,000s uh, or one or 10,000s. So even I'm way off of that, but uh, I, I'm not willing to throw money at my at this game. So anyway, um, if you have any questions about uh, the game. If you have any questions about uh, my team or want to have a make a comment on here, please do. Um, I, uh, I appreciate reading all the comments. I, I love chatting Transformers with everybody. And uh, if you want to follow me on Twitter, you can just search at Cybertron Beast. Uh, Cybertronian Beast was too long for Twitter, so I had to shorten it to Cybertron. And if you want to follow me on Facebook, I have a Facebook page for you. And that's just uh, Cybertronian Beast in the search bar. You should find me there. Um, click like and all that uh, all that crap I throw up on Facebook uh, will come to you as well. Anyway, thanks for watching. This has been Cybertronian Beast, and I will talk to you later.